Hey, this is Andrew Beckler, and my interview with Olympian Brianne Jenner is sponsored by Kramer Mazda in the 2018 Mazda CX-9. Good. good, how are you? I'm good. Hop in. So you guys train here at Windsport? Yeah, this is our home base. Um, we've been here since August, all the members of the national team, and we play all the games here, practice here, train here, everything. So I really like this car. Is it yours? Thank you. Yes, this is the uh, Mazda CX-9, the 2018. She's pretty fast, too. It's got a turbo. I could show you. The yeah. speed limit here is 30. Oh, too bad. Let's do it. Wow. Oh, oh, that's bump. a big bump. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been curious how well you get to know the other athletes. I imagine um, at the international level, you, you know a lot of the other the other women who play on the other teams quite well because mm -hmm. you see them quite a few times throughout the year, right? Yeah. Um, but do you get to know any of the athletes in other sports at all? Yeah, that's the cool thing about the Olympics. Um, I mean, when we go to a world championships, it's just all hockey and, and it's a really cool experience, but the Olympics, you get to meet like all of Team Canada and you're part of a, a bigger Team Canada. Um, so, you know, like last time, getting to meet the guys on the, on the men's team, you know, getting to meet some of the figure skaters, curlers, speed skaters, that was like a really cool thing that I, I didn't expect um, going to the Olympics, just how much you interact with them and how much they're cheering you on and, and vice versa. It's, it's really cool to be a part of that huge Team Canada. And is it, is it just the Canadians or do you get to interact with uh, the international athletes at all? Or Yeah, you can. I mean, it's kind of like uh, high school in a way because we all eat at the same cafeteria. Oh, really? So you'll be in the salad line and you'll see Zdeno Chara, you know, towering over you and you can strike up a conversation with him or, you know, whoever it may be. So that was a really cool thing about last Olympics. Um, you know, you're in your, your country buildings, but yeah, everyone eats at the same place. So you get to see a lot of them. Uh, does your family travel to? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last time um, for Sochi, both my parents went. Um, this time I have a bigger group going. Um, my parents, my fiance, and then my brother and sister-in-law. So it'll be five in total. Oh, excellent. Yeah. That's got to be pretty cool to have that kind of support when you're in another country. And Absolutely. I mean, you never really, you can't get to the Olympic level, I don't think, by yourself. I mean, you, my parents sacrificed so much for me to play hockey. You know, they drove me, you know, everywhere around the province. They, they sacrificed a lot. And, um, you know, it's really, it's really great to be able to share those Olympic moments with them. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Life is good. <laughs> Have you ever, like, stopped to think about how you are, like, literally the best in the world at what you do? Yeah, sometimes I think about how kind of lucky I am to, to be, like, an Olympic gold medalist. Is like, And as much as it takes, like, hard work and skill and dedication, there's a lot of luck, and I think circumstance that comes with it. I think it just makes you take a step back and have some perspective and think, wow, um, you know, what I do for a living is pretty awesome and I'm really lucky to be able to do it. I was once ranked fourth in the world at Online Bejeweled, so... Wow. Uh, How many hours I mean, did you spend you, you think, on that? <laughs> you think a gold medal is cool, let me tell you. So you didn't make the podium, though? <laughs> did fourth, not. Just off the podium. <laughs> do you have your gold medal displayed at your house? Um... If by displayed, you mean in a sock in my bedroom, then yeah. You keep it in a sock? <laughs> yeah, it's just in a little sock. Really? You don't have like a nice case for it or anything? Like... We do have a nice case, but um, I always worry if someone like were to break in or something, they'd know exactly where to find it, so oh, I yeah. just keep it, keep it hidden away. Well, if someone did break in, it's likely they'd go looking for your sock drawer.